Cybersecurity is a growing nightmare. Businesses around the world are losing money from hacks every single day. But there are some ridiculously easy strategies that you can implement today that can improve your chances of not getting hacked. And that is what this video is all about. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from the UK. I help businesses stay secure and get the very best from their IT spend. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you four tips. Now my first tip is to implement two-factor authentication. Now I always get on my soapbox a little bit about two-factor authentication because it's so easy to do and it's free, yet so few people do it. Microsoft recently said that if you implement two-factor authentication on your Microsoft 365 account, it will reduce the chance of getting hacked by 99%. Now, 99% is quite high. I will take that as a security measure. Now, in case you didn't know what two-factor authentication was, it is when you go to a website, you enter your username and your password, but then you need to enter a code. So that code, it might be a text message sent to your phone, it might be a code from an app on your phone. That bit is the second level of authentication. Do you see why they call it that now? So the idea is, even if your username and password is intercepted by a cyber criminal, the chances are they won't have your phone as well. So they still won't be able to log in to your application. So the two-factor authentication app that I recommend is called Authy. Now you can use Authy on a lot of different cloud applications. Authy is free and there's a lot of setup guides on the website to help you get started. If you're in business, then you can use Authy to protect your email system, whether that be Microsoft 365 or Gmail. You can also use it to protect your accounting system, such as Xero. If you've got a CRM like HubSpot, then again, Authy can be used to add two-factor authentication. Then we look at personal things as well. Well, Authy can be used for all of your social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. You can use Authy for all of those. And what about things like PayPal? In PayPal, you've got all your bank cards all added so you can check out and pay for things quite easily. We well, can protect that with two-factor authentication as well. And not forgetting things like your Amazon account, that also can be protected by two-factor authentication. So my first tip, go ahead to the Authy website, have a look at the setup guides, get it downloaded and start adding two-factor authentication to all of your cloud accounts. My next tip is to make sure that you don't let your passwords get into the hands of cyber criminals in the first place. So how do you do this? Well, it's fairly easy. You just need to create a really long and complex password for each of the cloud applications that you use. And you need to make sure that each password is different for every cloud application. So what you're gonna end up with is maybe 20, 30, really long, really complex passwords, and you are gonna to have to remember each and every one of them. I suppose it's not that easy after all, is it? But unfortunately, that's what we have to do because if a password's easy to remember, then it's easy to hack. Us humans, don't remember complex things. Just as a side note, if you wanna test how good or bad your password is, go over to www.howsecureismypassword.net. If you type your password into that box, it'll tell you how long it would take for a hacker or a computer to crack it. So back to the topic in hand, how do we make all our passwords long, complex, and easy to remember. Well, we use something called a password manager. A password manager becomes our password brain. What it will do is it'll help us to set secure and complex passwords for each of our cloud applications. These passwords will then be stored in the secure vault and we will never have to remember another password again. Problem solved. The password manager that I recommend is called Keeper Security. Now Keeper Security is an ultra secure cloud-based password manager. 
everyone has their own personal password vault and only you can access it. Not even Keeper Security can see what's in your vault. That means it's really secure. Now, Keeper Security is not a free product, but it's very cost effective for what it does. If you run a business, then I highly recommend that you give everybody in your business a Keeper Security license, and then you make it company policy that they should store all the passwords inside of the vault. Let's face it, if one of your employees gets their Office 365 account hacked, it's your business at the end of the day. So you've got to take security for your whole organization really seriously. Also, a great benefit of Keeper is they've got personal and family additions. I'm a great believer that cyber security starts at home. You've got to teach your children how to grow up cyber aware. So why not buy a Keeper license and roll it out across your household? Get your kids to put all the passwords in there as well. Now my next recommendation is to use DNS filtering. Now don't be alarmed, I know it sounds technical, but I'm gonna explain exactly what it is. So how does DNS filtering work? Well, us humans are pretty good at remembering words. So we can remember the names of websites, things like google.com, bbc.co.uk. We rarely forget the name of a website. But computers, on the other hand, are the opposite. So what they do is they remember numbers, and in particular, IP addresses. So when we're on a computer or a smartphone and we browse to a website, we'll type in the website address. Then what happens is a service called DNS kicks in. It looks at the word that you've typed in and it translates that into the IP address of that website. So that is how we are able to browse to websites. The DNS service is a bit of a, a translation. It's a bit like one of those old fashioned telephone books where if you want someone's phone number, you'd open this big book, you'd find the surname, find the address, and then it'd show you the telephone number. DNS works in exactly the same way. So if that's DNS, what is DNS filtering? Well, it works like this. If you type the website address into your browser, it'll look up the IP address. Now, it'll compare that IP address to its naughty list, or its blacklist if you want. And if that IP address is on the blacklist, it'll say, I wouldn't go there if I were you. Then it'll come back and tell you that you really don't want to go to that website because it's dangerous. So it filters out all the badness. So basically, DNS filters out all the badness from your computer. Sound good? So there's a DNS filtering service that I recommend, and guess what? It's free. There's a company called Quad9 who takes cybersecurity and privacy very seriously indeed, and they offer a free DNS filtering service. On the website, which I will list below this video, you'll also find some guides of how you can configure your computer to use the Quad9 service. It's really, really straightforward, and it'll provide you with a lot of protection. My fourth and final recommendation is to use good antivirus software. Now, this recommendation has been a recommendation of mine for as long as I've been in IT, and that, believe me, is a long time. And antivirus is still as important as ever, but there's been one crucial change. The sophistication of cyber attacks just keeps getting higher and higher. And the basic antivirus programs that we used to rely on just don't cut the mustard anymore. We've got to consider things like ransomware. The old fashioned antivirus software products just won't detect ransomware in a computer, so it's useless. So what you need to do is install a modern and sophisticated antivirus solution on all your devices. It needs to be capable of doing all the basic stuff, but also intelligent enough to spot the sophisticated attacks that we all experience today. Things like ransomware. Now the product that I recommend is called Sophos. Sophos are a world leading company in cybersecurity and they have been for many years. But crucially, their software is capable of picking up ransomware attacks and stopping it spreading to other computers. Now, just like Keeper Security, Sophos has a business product that you can use in business, and it also has a home product, so you can buy like a pack of five licenses and put them on all your computers at home. Now, I hope that's been useful. They're my four tips, and if you implement each of those tips, then you're gonna be much more secure than you were even this morning. I'll see you again soon.